here we will study what are flexional nmr flexional molecules these flexional molecules are molecules that undergo dynamics constantly exchanging their positions for example pf5 sf4 these are all tetra uh, trigonal pi pyramidal geometries they have trigonal pi pyramidal geometries they undergo very pseudo rotation that is uh, it occurs via square pyramidal geometry the axial due to this uh, ro rotation axial positions become equatorial equatorial becomes axial as you see here the dpp and square pyramidal geometries the energies are energy differences are very little therefore they undergo very pseudo rotation to give functionality functional character for example pf5 fluorine 19 nmr is used to study the very pseudo rotation in this case carbon 13 nmr is used to study the functional character of this molecule fluorine 19 nmr is again used to here the structure of sf4 is uh, obtained from the nmr for example at room temperature single peak is observed for example because of constant exchange of axial and equatorial position they are equivalent they are uh, equivalent all the fluorine atoms are equivalent on lowering the temperature it splits into two signals first it splits into two signals due to axial fluorine and equatorial fluorine or chemically indistinct further on lowering the temperature each fluorine each peak is split into triplet for example the axial fluorine are split into triplet because of this uh, coupling with this uh, equatorial two fluorine atoms each peak is split into triplet let us see quickly a few applications of nmr to inorganic molecules or inorganic compounds one metal hydrogen bonding in this complex molecule is established using proton nmr the nuclear quantum number of rhodium nucleus is 1 by 2 therefore proton nmr gives a doublet because of the direct bond coupling it gives a doublet this establishes a bond between rhodium and hydrogen the structure of phosphorus acid is elucidated by using phosphorus nmr the formula of phosphorus acid is h3po3 there are two types of two possible structures i have given here in this case phosphorus 15 i am sorry this is phosphorus 15 i equal to 1 by 2 and phosphorus nmr using phosphorus nmr this will give this compound will give you a doublet whereas this compound will give you a triplet this the oh protons does not give does not couple because of fast exchange with the water molecules in the solvent in actually triplet signal is obtained therefore the structure the correct structure is this one similarly the structure of fluorine fluoro derivative is also obtained what is the structure of pf6 minus it is established elucidated using phosphorus 31 uh, nmr uh, sorry previously i told uh, 15 phosphorus 31 nmr mass number it gives a septet signal seven lines it reveals that um, it reveals that that is fluorine uh, phosphorus nmr there are six fluorine atoms therefore phosphorus couples with the six fluorine atoms to give a red signal seven lines it reveals that all the fluorine equivalent therefore the geometry is regular octahedral ph4 plus 
like uh, NH4 plus ammonium ion, phosphonium ion. Using phosphorus 31 NMR, it gives a phosphorus 31 couples with the 4 proton to give quintet 5 lines, N plus 1, with intensity ratio. Whereas proton NMR, proton NMR, all the protons are equivalent. It couples with the phosphorus uh, one, I equal to 1 by 2. Similarly, BRF5, the structure is studied by using fluorine-19 NMR. In this case, there are two peaks were observed with intensity ratio 4 is to 1. It shows that there are two kinds of fluorine, 4 are one type and 1 is a different type. The intense line is doublet, the intense line, the intense line is because uh, if it is a tetragonal pyramidal, then the uh, four equatorial, four uh, equatorial fluorine atoms couple with this proton to give ten signal because of four fluorine atoms is doublet peak line. This is uh, only one fluorine atom couples with the four. Therefore, n plus one printed five lines. Therefore, the structure is symmetrical tetragonal pyramidal from NMR studies. NMR is also used to, to investigate the cis-trans isomers, for example, in platinum complex. The cis isomer will have different coupling, platinum I equal to 1 by 2, phosphorus I equal to 1 by 2, in constant, it is cis 3.62. From the coupling constant values, the cis-trans isomers can be determined. Using fluorine 19 NMR, the structure of dimethyl phosphorus trifluoride structure is elucidated. At low temperature, two peaks are observed. At room temperature, due to theory rotation, fast exchange, only one peak is observed that are all are equivalent. One fluorine in axial position and two in equatorial position. Using NMR, this structure is uh, up. Here we will study what is magic, magic angle spinning. Only it is important in solid state NMR. In solid state, the compound gives broad line in NMR spectrum because of uh, increased line width due to spin lattice relaxation, due to fast spin lattice relaxation, due to dipolar, uh, chemical shift, anisotropy. These effects are averaged out in solution when the compound is dissolved in solution. These effects are Negligible, these effects uh, are negligible, they will give isotropic NMR spectrum because um, due to rapid uh, tumbling motion. However, in solid state, these effects are very significant. The sample is uh, rotated about this axis, makes an angle with the external upright magnetic field theta equal to 54.74 degree. The dipolar chemical shift anisotropy is directly proportional to 1 minus 3 cos square theta. When theta equal to 54.74, these two effects become zero. Therefore, the lines are narrowed with the lower line width or line. The spectrum is well resolved at this magic angle spinning of the sample. 